Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to download Java for Minecraft. So I'm going to show you how to download Java, I'm also going to show you how to download the development kit as well. Now you need to download this to make your Minecraft run properly if you're going to install mods. So this is actually very easy to do and it only will take a couple of minutes. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come to this website just here. This is the Java's website. I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. So simply from here, just click on the green download button just here. So click on that and this will bring you to this page just here. Also do make sure you do have 64 bit for Windows as if you have 32 bit this probably won't work. If you don't know what 64 bit is or 32 bit, feel free to join my Discord. I'll be able to help you out in there. But today I'm going to be showing how to get it for 64 bit. So simply from here, just come down and click on the green download button just here. So click on that and that will download Java for us. Also, we're going to want the development kit as well, so simply come to this website just here. I will leave a link in the description down below for this one. So here we can actually select from multiple development kits, which is number 22 here, 21, and we also got 17. Now it all depends on what version of Minecraft you're trying to run with your mods or of your Java. So for us today, I'm going to be doing the 22, and you can do this as well. And this should work for anything over Minecraft 1.21, I think. So it's something like that. So if you're running that new version of Minecraft, this one here should work fine. Or if you're having problems with 22, you can also try 21 as well. But I'm going to be downloading 22 just here. So simply come down. And now what you want to do is actually download it for Linux or Mac or Windows. So, so depending on your operating system, you can choose which one you want to do from here. For me, I am running Windows, so I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to select the 64-bit here installer. So that's the one I'm going to select and click on the download button just over here. So let that download as well. So while those are downloading, if you look to get your own Minecraft server, be sure to check out Apex Hosting. They have some really high quality servers and also do come with a DDoS protection. So be sure to check them out with the link in the description down below. So now I'm actually on my desktop and what we're going to want to do now is actually go to our downloads folder. So here's my downloads folder. As you can see, we have got two jar files in here. Now this is what we just downloaded. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'll drag these to my desktop, close this page out. So we can see here, this one here is actually our development kit. So this one here's the development kit. So we need to do this one afterwards. So I'm gonna put that off to the side just there. So if it's got the JDK in there, 22, that's the development kit. And we want to do that afterwards. So this one here is actually the jar file. So we need to actually install this one here first. If the files look a little bit different for you, so if they don't show the coffee mugs in here, don't worry, it should still work fine. You might just have to right click on here and just click on open and just open this file up. Or you can just double click on this file just here. So double click on that. Now you might get a little prompt up like this. I don't think you can see it at the moment, but you should get a little prompt up on the screen. Just click on yes on this file. Now this will start to load our installer. So as you can see here, we've now got the installer. Now simply from here, click on install just here. So I'm gonna click on that now. And now this will take a little bit of time to install, depending on your computer specs, uh, but hopefully just a couple of minutes. So there we go. We have now got Java installed. So simply just click on the close button just there. Now we can get rid of this file here, we do not need this one no more. So now what we're going to want to do is actually install our development kit. So double click onto your development kit up here, so double click on that. And again you might have to click on yes on this one as well, you get a little pop up. Now simply from here just wait for it to load up. So here we go, it's loaded up. And here just click on next, and again click on next down here, click on that. And now this will install as well. This should take quicker than Java, but it all depends on your computer specs again. So there we go, we have now installed that. What you're going to want to do from this page here is just click on the little close button just here. So click on the close. Now get rid of this file. And now you have got Java installed and also development kit as well for Java. And now hopefully all your Minecraft mods should work. If you are still having problems, be sure to check out my Discord. I should be able to help you out in there. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video.